Thanks for doing this, by the way. Well, it took a while to figure out. I was going to say, have you ever met a bigger pain in the ass? <laughs> you know, well, you know, there's nothing wrong with perseverance. I was so excited that we had the opportunity to get Tom Hanks. I'd been harassing him on email for literally like four years trying to get this taping. And when he finally said he was willing to do it, he was in Greece at the time. So, uh, you know, there were travel restrictions where we couldn't get to Greece. So it was doing it over video chat or nothing. So I'm like, sign me up. And we're all sitting in the studio and then bam, Tom Hanks shows up and it's like, oh, f it's Tom Hanks. And he's wearing these giant gamer headphones. And my first thought is like, I have to tell Tom Hanks to change his headphones. I prefer the, uh, the, the cleaner looking ones, the Apple. The buds? Yeah. All right, hold on one second. And then he puts the cable behind his back. And I was like, well, Tom, the mic's on the cable. So I need the cable in the front. And then he went. La 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 la. <laughs> and I was like, I'm best friends with Tom Hanks. To my surprise, he agreed to give us 90 minutes for the taping. Uh, he wanted to start at 10 p.m. Greece time. I, I can guarantee you that two thirds of the country is just now showing up for dinner somewhat. So they, uh, it's a, it's always a, it's a long night. And it ends up going till almost 2 a.m. Greece time. We had almost three hours with him. It was very cool to see Graham and Tom Hanks just kind of hit it off. I wasn't sure we were ever going to end. I was talking, my wife was saying, what is this again? I said, this is a podcast I put off for like 18 months. I can't remember the first time we tried to, to make this work. Good thing there was no deadline. Tom Hanks is somebody who's famously private. And at one point during the taping, you know, he just offered up that, uh, his dad went through uh, a lot of challenges in life because his dad witnessed his own father's murder. A hired hand killed his father in the barn of the farm that they were growing up in Willows, California. And to the best of our knowledge, he's never publicly discussed that before. How do you think that uh, uh, affected him? Oh, um, it, it, it ruined him. It robbed him of uh, it robbed him of a carefree life. And it was eye opening listening to Tom Hanks and somebody of his stature talk about the troubles that he's had to overcome. You said, you know, on the first marriage front once, divorce brought back bad feelings from the past. What do you remember from that time? I thought, oh, I, I, um, I couldn't, I couldn't be a worse, couldn't be a worse father, and I couldn't be a worse human being. It's human nature to go through moments where you think, oh man, I'm f***ed and I'll never be anything other than just like this guy that I am now, but you learn. You can tell when somebody's like genuinely enjoying the conversation. And he was on a couple of occasions, like shocked that we knew uh, about a, a, a couple items. Why is it you still cannot eat tomato soup? <laughs> You have done your research. As part of the research, we learned Tom Hanks likes surfing. We've taped episodes with Kelly Slater on a couple occasions before, so I messaged Kelly. One of the best parts of that interview is Kelly Slater sending in a guest question. Tom loved that. Tom Hanks, Kelly Slater here. How are you? Kelly Slater, holy smokes. Living legend, Kelly Slater. Oh my God, oh Lord. It was really fun to see Tom Hanks be like, surprised and personable and just like kind of really enjoying certain aspects of the conversation. Sometimes in interviews, guests say things that become catchphrases around the office. One of those people, Tom Hanks. I was damn good. I popped that scene, man. I had the dialogue. I had the motivation. I was flexible. I crushed it. I think our producer Brad does it best. I was damn good. I popped that scene, man. I had the dialogue. I had the motivation. I was flexible. I crushed it. Felt so fortunate to have the opportunity to do this with him, but his internet was so spotty. And all of a sudden, Hank's face just freezes on the screen. It's stuck. It's glitching. It's lagging. Every other word is coming through. Every time the video froze just for a second, my heart would stop being like, is it gonna come back? I hope we don't lose Tom Hanks because that'd be really bad. 
for whatever reason, as soon as he plugged in his laptop, his internet got infinitely better. Hold on one second. I got to I got to plug in my uh, my my computer. It's dead for me. It's not getting power for some reason. One second. Bob Costas actually texted me after the interview uh, saying he watched it and that it was the best Tom Hanks interview he's ever seen. I will probably frame that text message someday. Thank you very much for doing this. I, uh, so, hey, Graham, you're, you're, you're very well, uh, very well versed. You'd probably have done way too much, uh, research for a guy like me, but I appreciate it. I enjoyed the talk. Let's say right now we'll do it again as soon as possible. And that will be four years from sometime today. Cause that's how long it took this time.